Hi, I'm Ward Blackwell. Welcome to this holiday edition of the Front Street 411. We'll start first with a first for PDA, PDA's recent virtual speed mentoring program. The 14 PDA member dentists who participated as mentors provided insights from a variety of levels of experience and different career paths for the 40 mentees in attendance. Mentees ranged from first year dental students to residents. The program was intended to be open-ended, allowing the mentees to ask for advice on any topic they chose. And as you can see from the examples in the graphic, there was quite a variety. A similar program modeled roughly on the Philadelphia County Dental Society's Ask a Specialist event is in the planning stages. Stay tuned for more info. You've probably heard me talk before about the Pennsylvania Enterprise Resource Corporation, or PERC, which is the wholly owned subsidiary of the PDA that runs the PDA Member Advantage program. Well, the PERC Board of Directors met recently and decided to explore co-endorsing several companies that are currently endorsed by the ADA. More importantly, the PERC Board approved a process for evaluating current PDA Member Advantage partners. Customer satisfaction surveys will be a significant part of these evaluations. So, if you currently do business with a PDA Member Advantage company, be looking for one of those surveys around second quarter of 2023. And if you're not doing business with a PDA Member Advantage company, well, let us know why. Unless it's just because you don't like saving money? Can't fix that. Another board meeting, a short one of the PDA Board of Trustees, featured the formal adoption of PDA's agenda for the legislative session starting next month. PDA sites are firmly set on issues relating to reforms in the dental benefits arena and a medical loss ratio bill similar to the medical loss ratio ballot initiative that recently passed in Massachusetts should be our top priority going in. Finally, nominations have closed for all PDA elective offices and the candidates names and profiles will soon be posted on the PDA website. At the top of the ballot, is a race for PDA president-elect. Now, to make sure you receive information about the upcoming election, it is very important that you verify your email address with PDA. The electronic ballot and instructions will be emailed to you, and there are simple but specific requirements to ensure delivery. What's more, having a valid email address on file also ensures you receive breaking news and other important announcements from PDA. The contact information to do the verification is on your screen. Well, that's it for this edition of the 411. With the holidays upon us, we know families and vacations will be pretty much the focus for many of you, and news is also likely to be a bit slow. So rather than release the next 411 in two weeks, which happens to be New Year's Day, you won't see me again till the following Sunday. So. Hope all of you enjoy a wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you next year.